Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be selling my car. I know my beloved WRX and I do I do absolutely love this car, but just financially it doesn't make sense right now. I'm trying to save up for a house and I let me just tell you the insurance bill every month. Every single month I pay $380 for just the insurance, not even the car payment, just the insurance, $380, almost $400 for just insurance. That is just being taken out of my pocket every month. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, I, I just need to save it for a car. So been thinking about selling it for a long time. Think I'm gonna finally pull the trigger today. Let's go. So here's my WRX. I just wanna point out a couple things. This car is still pristine. It needs a wash, obviously. And CarMax doesn't care if you wash it or not, but I kept in this car, I kept this thing on. Well, I just kept it in the glove box. I still have a fully wrapped car manual. It's still wrapped in its original plastic. And this car has. So this car has 14,873 miles on it. I bought this car and it had 6,500 roughly miles on it. So I've just over doubled the miles on it. Um, it's been an amazing car. I, it's been amazing. It's a lovely car and don't get me wrong, I would definitely buy this car again, but I have to be in the financial place to be able to do so. And I, I mean, yes, I could afford this car, but it just kind of leaves me in some space that I don't want to be in. Like it, I'm not saving as much as I want to be saving. It just, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's an expensive car. I don't need it. I'm young. I think I'm just going to go buy a cheap pickup truck after this car and I'll just have that in my motorcycle and I'll just hold on to these for another couple years till I buy like a house and there's a bunch of stuff I want to buy, but it just doesn't make financial sense right now. So let's take it over to CarMax. I think they're going to give me 27 for it. I don't think they'll give me more than that because they're cheap skates. You over there, CarMax, you guys are cheap. You guys are cheap. You're going to give, unless you give me a good price. If you guys turn around and give me like, I, so I think this car is worth like 33 roughly. Um, so if you guys, I'm, I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I've never sold a car at CarMax. I've never dealt with them or anything. So I'm excited to see what they're going to give, but I don't know. I think they're cheap sometimes, so. They might give me a good price, they might give me a bad price, but this baby is brand new. Brand spanking new. Not brand spanking new. It, I mean, it's got it, it's got a tiny bit of mileage on it, but um, lower than what it should be. And I've seen ones for roughly the same miles going for 33, so that's what I'm hoping to get out of it. If they give me 33, I might just sell it at CarMax, or I might just go to the to like Facebook Marketplace and sell it there. So let's get on the road. All right, we just turned it in for a quote. We're going in right now because the quote's already finished and we're gonna see what it is. So let's go. Okay, they offered me $28,000 for it and it is worth more than that. So I'm probably gonna sell it on uh, Marketplace or OfferUp. I'm gonna sell it on one of those because I think I could get closer to 33 for it. So uh, I knew they weren't good. I knew they right around what I expected, 27, 28 right there. I didn't expect any more, didn't really expect any less, so um, yeah, it's just going to be better to sell it on, uh, I think it's the second hand market it's called, I don't know, but uh, let's go get it posted. Alright, my beloved car is now posted on Facebook Marketplace and I'm just going to wait for a seller. Just waiting for people to message me and then uh, I'll be selling this soon, so I'll keep everyone updated and I will catch you guys next time, bye!